boys and girls, it's Colin back again, and today we're going to visit a builder's merchant shop. You can buy lots of things for your garden in this shop, so we thought we would sing, see the birds that are singing, and how they don't, they don't worry about a thing because God looks after them. Before we visit the shop, let's sing this lovely song. See the birds that are singing in the spring air, they're giving everything they need. They don't worry where their next meal will come from. They don't worry about a thing. So just look around you. Try to listen to the song creation sings. And don't you worry cause you're in the hands of the God who made everything. flowers they don't worry they don't care a flower is dressed better than a king and a bird does not know which food is coming from it god feeds it what a real challenge let's go and see what's happening out and about Hey boys and girls, today I'm at a hardware shop. I love hardware shops or a builder's merchant. And the type of shop you come to at a builder's merchant or hardware shop, it's tools that you might uh, need around the house or around the yard. For example, look at all these here. You've got glues, you've got tape measures, you've got saws, so many different types of saws. And I think, look at the teeth. These are called teeth, how sharp they are for cutting wood. And if you're a joiner, this is one of the tools that you will have. You've also got electric saws, but that's a, a hand one. You've got all sorts of tools, square sets with the wee, see the wee gauge, make sure it's nice and level. So if you're a trader, and that's why you have to go, uh, whenever you finish school, you can go on to do your A-levels, you can go on to do a trade or go to university. And tradesmen will spend one, two, three, four years how to work out, how to learn how to use their tools, how to be really good at their trade. Here's a bolster for splitting a block if the block's too long. And um, that takes a bit off the end of it. You've got ha, suitcases. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at all the nuts. A man's dream is a wee tool kit with all his different tools. You got jacks, you got hammers, some there's a rubber hammer, rubber mallet because it's not gonna damage whatever you're hitting it like compared to that one. Look. That's metal, that's rubber. You got plastic as well, for all that depends what you're hitting and what you're beating down. A joiner, for example, will take this as for taking out his nails and for hitting in or fencer. We'll also use um, wooden, you got plastic, really nice colourful ones. These are hammers, you can see all the tools. There's a line for measuring, a measuring line, and you've got on this side here, you've got yard brushes. When I was way growing up on a farm, we had this here, and that was for brushing, uh, brushing out the cattle. Got really long ones. Whoa, the size of this one. <laughs> really long, wouldn't take long to brush a floor, that big one. You got bin liners, you got all sorts of tapes for glue, plungers, you know what that's for? <laughs> Plunger. You got jazz fluid. So we're gonna walk around all these tools here. Look at these here. Different screwdrivers, different makes, different colours. And you've got paints. 
I used to love painting. Do you know that's what I done for about a year? I thought I was going to be a painter and decorator. I tried it for about a year, then I thought that's not for me, and I, I tried other things. But I used to like painting. Still do like painting. Then they've got the gardeners. There's the gardener corner. And he's going to cut down. These are extendables. I was looking for these earlier. Goes even, yeah. If you're gonna cut down your branch, springtime or autumn time, you would just clip, give it a good clip. Any branches sticking out too too far, you would you would do that there. You've got all your different holes. Gardening's very very therapeutic work in the garden. You've got all your ricks, your shovels, spades, all different things. Then you got electrical. You got your extension needs. Some of these here for builders. That one. Plugs. All these, all these circular blades for people cutting steel or cutting wood or cutting uh, concrete. Really good mix. And you've got all your different pipes. So if anybody's working with plastic pipes, they have a thing for cutting. A cutter, and you've got your bolts. <laughs> so if you're a plumber, you know exactly what you're looking for on your taps. See, in your house, you've got your water tap. But that's what it looks like. All you see is this part. Turn it on the light it comes, but there's a lot of work and these connected from the mains right into the pipe and right up into here. So all these pipes, look, just different tap. Some bigger ones, a big big one. Hoses. I used to love I love these type of shops. Look at these here. Metal bars. It's better down here, look, you got all your boots, footwear. Now whenever you're working on a building site, safety is very, very important. You got boots, a lot of these boots, if you notice, have got steel toe caps. That's in case you can drop a brick in your toe. Do you ever drop a brick in your toe? You would scream and shout, it'd be really sore. And you've got all different shapes, sizes, colors, steel toe caps, and some keep you warm and like inside, really, really fluffy. Look, <laughs> you go to, go to sleep with them on, they're like slippers. Then the, the high-vis vest, look on this side. So people put these on because if you're in a yard or you have to wear this here so it's fluorescent on the night time, that shines bright. Let's people know that's exactly where you are. Different hard hats, different colours. Safety hamlets, you get blue, red, yellow. And I thought, wow, safety is very, very important because your head's important. It's very important to protect your head. Anything falls in your head, you could get brain damage that could really, really hurt you. So that your feet's protected, your head's protected. And I thought in life, that that's a really good lesson in life because whenever you think about uh, your head, you've got to protect what goes into your head, what goes into your mind, your ears, and of course your feet, where you walk to, your hands, what you touch and where you go to. And such a challenge in life as you go, th as I walk through a yard like this here, I think of all these things and it's so, so important. See, God likes it whenever we work. Um, that's the way he made man. He says, Adam, you have to work in the garden. You have to name the animals, look after the animals. So he doesn't like idle people or lazy people. He loves people whenever they work with their hands. And having a trade is very, very important. And we need people to build houses, people to fit windows, people to be plumbers and plasters and, and kitchen fitters, like car mechanics. There's so much work to be done by everyone. Over here, you've got hose pipes. Whenever I think of a hose, <laughs> reminds me of water fight, like water fights, and you've got the hose fittings again for the gardeners. And I think water is important, that's water is something we take for granted. We love to drink water, we love to, on a really hot day, we might hose down the garden. And I thought, where does the water come from? It's a gift from God, like he gives us the air to breathe, the water to drink. You also notice overalls, look. Overalls, we boys, we girls like to put on their overalls, look. <laughs> The wee tips, they might be green for John Deere or blue for New Holland, different colours. But overalls, of course, protect to keep your clothes clean. Uh, you might have your good clothes underneath it. You wear your overalls to keep your underclothes clean. And I thought that's important, just like gloves. You see lots of gloves here. That's to keep your hands clean. So there's a wee course we used to sing, oh, be careful little eyes what you see. Be careful little hands what you touch. Be careful little feet where you walk. All these lessons are very, very important for life. Not just for uh, someone working in a tool shed, in a hardware shop, but it's a lesson for life as you go through life. 
life when you're at school. Learn the simple lessons of using your brain, doing your schoolwork, doing your homework, and then later in life you can apply that. And it's the same thing as you go through life. You're going to be tempted to look at things, to touch things, to go places, and uh, they're maybe not the right place to go. Like if you go into a yard without steel toe caps, there's a danger you can really hurt your toes if you drop something. If something falls in your head, you're not wearing a hamlet, a safely hamlet, you're going to damage your head. These are precautions, these are safety, these are advisable and that's why the Bible is a good book, a good rule book, a good guidebook to help us as we go through life because uh, it really does protect you from making pitfalls, making avoiding dangers in your life. So many lessons you can find in a hardware shop. Very interesting tool shop, builder's merchant, gardening supplies, enjoyed it so much. But I thought we need all those tools to be able to work, to be able to do something. But God, he was the one who put the stars into outer space. Millions of stars, he knows them all by name. And yet, because we all have to work here, we need tools to work. And that's why the tool shop was so, so important. Okay, that's all. Let's... Um, Sing the song and see how we get along. You put the stars in outer space. <coughs> song to think about the God of all creation. In the beginning, God. Really enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you've learned something today. Thank you and take care and enjoy the rest of your day.